Exercise number one for the pecs will be pec deck for six to ten reps to failure. Now from here on, you won't have to write the words to failure, as that is a given, and six to ten reps is merely a suggested guideline. There is nothing magic about the number ten. If you reach ten, but you see you might go to thirteen reps to failure, don't stop at ten, go to thirteen. And at the other end, if you see by rep three, you won't reach even six reps, but only four or five, don't stop and reload. Get four or five, the next time you'll likely get six to ten. And if you don't have access to a pec deck, then flat bench dumbbell flies or cable crosses may be substituted. Directly underneath exercise one, write out the word superset, and directly underneath that, the number two. Exercise number two for the pecs will be the incline press, preferably on a machine such as the Smith. If you don't have any machine for the incline press, you may perform either regular free weight barbell incline presses or incline dumbbell presses. Exercise number two should be performed for one to three reps, not six to ten, one to three reps. And make a parenthetic note next to the incline press. Use a fairly close hand grip. Your hand should be slightly closer than shoulder width. All right, now write down the word backs. Exercise number one for the back will be close grip, palms up, pull downs, six to ten repetitions. Number two, which will be regular style, not stiff-legged, but regular deadlifts. Shrugs may be substituted, 